not to miss it. But first we go into the Midlands, where Leicester City's famous hot air bubble made their Filbert Street pitch absolutely perfect for the game against Newcastle United, where ATV's cameras caught up with the action and where the commentator was Hugh Johns. And it's something of a red-letter day for Steve Whitworth. His 350th appearance in a league match for Leicester City, the club he joined from Colville Grammar School some 12 years ago. A model of consistency, he's missed only nine league games since first appearing in Leicester's Division II Championship side of 1971. But he's still looking for his first league goal. Could it happen today as he lines up in this unchanged Leicester side which reflects the changes manager Jock Wallace is making? Two of his three signings this season, Henderson and Smith, are Scots, and six of the side are not yet 21 years old. The baby of the team is little David Buchanan. Still an apprentice at 16, he only left school last summer. But in just four games, he's knocked in two goals, and having been born in Newcastle, he'd love to hit another today. Newcastle used 35 players last season, and manager Bill McGarry's used two dozen this time so far, with changes every week. He brought 15 to Leicester and now names this side. It's a big shock for Terry Hibbert. He's dropped and replaced by Jamie Scott. His second game, this one. While Bird returns after injury and centre-half for Bach. Referee Keith Hackett from Sheffield, Pat Albert of Starbridge, Peter Stokely of Solihull for his linesman. It's the black and white stripes there of Newcastle United attacking the goal to our left. The blue jerseys, white shorts of Leicester City. Groundsman Jim Henshaw and done a marvellous job again here on this Filbert Street ground providing a playing surface which from this height actually looks green quite remarkable Bird missing that in the air and a good attack building Henderson Henderson for Leicester, back to Whitworth, looking for the long one in. Quickly booted away. Jamie Scott the ball on to Peter Will. With picking up Robinson. And again Henderson. It's a bit late. Mitchell. Ken Mitchell started there as a striker. Now fullback. Peak. Getting away from that challenge, but he was in fact brought down by Natras. The free kick given against Irving Natras. Whitworth over the ball. Big long chip, and with his back there as May gets it in. And a shot. For, oh, Mark Goodwin, a chance to have opened the scoring account here in what the second minute of the game this was a good challenge by Larry Mayer on the far side getting it across the box and then this chance dropping to Goodwin open goal and wide Natras forward Wellington's got a cup Whitworth having a real gallop to Smith can go again for Rofe oh that was that was a bookable one, and Mick Martin is going to get it. Martin, who had had a very, very firm word from referee Hackett earlier, really did go into that one. Here's Martin's challenge long after the ball's gone. So John O'Neill with the free kick. Henderson, early ball in, it was a good one to Williams. Buchanan. And stand back for Peak. Yes! Andy Peak. That's his first goal. There was the free kick. This ball cut back beautifully. Williams in on a chase. Buchanan to the line. The goalkeeper did well. But Buchanan did better, and here comes Peak. So a peak performance as Leicester go into the lead. Ten minutes gone. Shoulder chasing it. With Parkinson. Oh, Robinson, rather. 
it's down to shoulder. Good cross. Oh, Wellington was a bit lucky then. What a fine cross ball from Alan Shoulder. And the pressure it exerts on Wellington is really quite remarkable. There's the cross, and now look at with coming in. Wellington had it, lost it against May, and only just got it back. That might be a good pass off uh, Buchanan's back to Henderson. Buchanan. Going against Blackley. All good skills and cockiness. Peak. Oh! That was as unlucky as anybody could possibly be. Well, look at this. What dead-eyed accuracy. Goalkeeper beaten a mile and back off the post. Poor Andy Peak. given away and Blackley is there but in turn given away to Whitworth Williams has beaten the offside trap he's all right he's okay and Buchanan rams in the second goal nothing wrong with that one so Dave Buchanan who's been pinned in that offside trap so many times knocks in Leicester's second Williams beat the trap and Buchanan just behind the ball as it played to him an easy scoring chance, which he gratefully takes. Shoulder. Bird. Smith and O'Neill between them, stopping that attack. Buchanan. Puts it down, Brownlee is positioned. Oh, he did well. Robinson's cross. And Wellington gets it out, and he's off his line, and Mitchell's going to drive one, and it was right on target. Fullback did well, but then he was a striker until this season. He was bang on target with that shot. And it was knocked back, and a fine drive on target. And this ball knocked in to shoulder. Half chance going in for Robinson. Not there. As the referee calls them off. Leicester then 2 0 up at half time. With Andy Peake having knocked in the first one and Dave Buchanan knocking in the second to give Leicester a very, very commanding position here at half time. Attacking that goal to our left with some determination. We start the second half. O'Neill forward. Henderson. Smith in there. Brownlee. An offside flag. Catching Peter with. Which rather surprised him. Roof then with the free kick. Henderson nicely down for Smith. Must drive it. Oh! Oh, Bobby Smith. What a fine shot that was, too. Henderson did awfully well there. And Smith sees just a half chance. Ping. Swerving away from the goalkeeper. Beaten but wide. It's with. Fouled by O'Neill. Newcastle want to make this substitution, bringing off Robinson to bring on Nigel Walker, the lad who scored the goal up at Newcastle earlier this season. The goal that Newcastle beat Leicester with, 1 0. So Walker, Gates head lad on, getting his first touch, and a shot from Martin is on target. It's about the first time that. Uh, Wellington has had to scurry. Henderson the challenge, Bird the winner though. 
Now it's Walker. Henderson has done himself an injury. He's down with a bad knee. Shoulder laying this one back. Two bird on to win. Now Natras. Martin. And in with a chance is Natras. And in with a goal is Erling Natras. And it's 2 1. And Newcastle really strung that one together very neatly. Irving Natras' his second goal of the season, and it really was well worked. Tip-tap passing, Natras left in the last man, and he tucks it away neatly. Luckily. Oh, good position, Whitworth. Start encouraging him to drive in and go on his own. Is it off instead to Buchanan. Cannon, who has the support of Goodwin out there. And a shot from Whitworth. Oh! And Steve Whitworth very, very nearly got his first ever league goal in this is 350th league appearance. Oh, what a moment that would have been for him. This ball takes a twist as it goes to Hardwick, who misjudged it but gathered it in. Will shielding the ball away from May. Back across. Bird to lay it off to Blackley. Go into shoulder. Brownlee calling for it. Looked up for Wyth to go for. Natras. No, oh, there was pushing by Peter Wyth earlier, and Peter Wyth has showed rather too much dissatisfaction with that decision by referee Keith Hackett. And so Peter Wood gets himself a descent caution card. The ball up from Brownlee. And the foul given against Wood, and that was what he didn't like. Well, the uh, game will have to really spark into life in this last ten minutes if we're going to have anything like the 5-3 game that was here last last week he must have beat Orient but here's Goodwin setting up a Leicester attack Christie back for Peak and the ball driven hard off Blackley produces a corner for Leicester City Andy Peak 17 years old made his uh, debut as an apprentice and was on the Saturday and was immediately signed as a full pro on the Monday Fitting reward. Bobby Smith, as usual, to take the corner kick. That's the seventh of the game. Oh, what a good one, too. And off the line from Buchanan. Smith, too, banging in again. And still the pressure on Newcastle. And they finally get it away. Well, that was a beautiful near post corner from Bobby Smith whizzing in there and it was Buchanan who got there and it was Brownlee off the line Martin in with shoulder Martin Martin once again shoulder it's an awkward one for Wallington hit the bar Walker in there again as Wyth goes in very, very bravely indeed. What genuine honesty from Peter Wyth. Well, that was a dodgy moment for Leicester City. Shoulder. Wallington really didn't know where that one was. Lucky it came off the bar. And then Walker, when he does bang that up, look at the bravery of that header. They're beginning to wonder now whether they can pull something out in the dying stages. May not able to play it back to his goalkeeper and is going to be robbed by shoulder. No, shoulder quite happy to let it go out and take the throw in. With. And Whitworth gives the corner away and the pressure building from Newcastle. And the last desperate gamble. They're bringing people forward. They've left Blackley down the park. And Scott halfway into the uh, Leicester half, but everybody else is getting ready around the goal round, around the Leicester goal round. 
And the shoulder takes the corner. It's their third of the game. O'Neill gets the head away, and there could be a break here for Leicester. Bobby Smith. Now he tried to beat one man too many. Newcastle with possession again. Time to try and build something. Blackley. Shoulder. Back for McMartin. Ball in to Walker. Good drive into the comfort. Blackley. Oh. Well, John Blackley had the chance, or very nearly a chance. It was so slim, it was deflected to him. Walker, the ball is deflected to Blackley. He tried it first time. That was good goalkeeping by Wellington. Christie for Rofe. Good win, that was a good shot by Mitchell. And now Walker. But very small amount of injury time added on. And I watched less than 40 seconds, and I thought there was a fairly lengthy hold up to Henderson. However, Leicester with those two goals in the first half from Peak and Buchanan. Go off winners here against Newcastle. The final score here, Leicester 2, Newcastle 1. A defeat that was a blow for Newcastle's hopes of getting in amongst the top teams in the second division, where this top of the table shows that, in fact, the top three there, Brighton, Palace and Stoke, only separated by goal difference. West Ham in fourth place, interesting there, with games in hand on those above them. Sunderland and Fulham still very much in contention. And Newcastle now having slithered to 12th place in the table. I think perhaps we ought just to clear up that second Leicester City goal, which, in the event, turned out to be the winner. Was it offside or not? Steve Whitworth here on the ball in the centre circle. As he plays it forward, we're not able to see really whether the Leicester player is in an offside position actually when the ball is played, but you have to give the benefit of the doubt to the linesman. There's certainly no offside there as he plays the ball in. Buchanan was behind the ball, and indeed there were those two Newcastle defenders between him and the goal when it was put in. Uh...